Pei may be suffering from sleepless nights, but there's no hiding Harry and Meghan's joy at becoming new parents. Yesterday while on an engagement to a children's hospital in Oxford, Harry revealed he couldn't imagine life without little Archie even if their son is keeping him up at night. But rather than hiring a night or maternity nurse to help them out, the couple are managing on their own. There is no nanny, they are doing it themselves for the time being, a royal source says, confirming that Harry has been busy changing diapers at Frogmore Cottage. He's doing it all. He's completely head over heels in love. The couple do, however, have the help of Meghan's mother, Dory Raglan, who is staying with them in Windsor and has been indispensable to the couple. Meghan and Harry plan to hire a nanny when they go back to work full-time, which will likely be in October, although there is every chance the couple will carry out occasional duties before then, including trooping the color in June. Harry has already broken the record for taking the shortest paternity leave in royal history, having carried out several official engagements that were already in his diary before Archie was born. However, aides say he will be taking some time off over the coming weeks. While Meghan is checking in with her aides who are creating a new household for the couple at Buckingham Palace, she is enjoying her maternity leave and not preparing to return to official engagements yet. They have time to find the right nanny, who may well be an American, in time for when Meghan is back at work, a source says. For now the couple are enjoying getting to know Archie and receiving guests. Yesterday Kate and William visited the couple and spent over an hour with their newborn nephew. They were itching to meet him, says a source. The Cambridges plan to take their three children to meet Archie when he is a little older, and are said to be mindful of not intruding on the Sussexes' private time. Aides say that relations between the one-time Fab Four have improved in recent weeks. And that both couples want the royal cousins to grow up to be close. Things have been a lot better since Harry and Meghan moved out of KP, it has given them all some space, says a source close to the brothers, referring to the couple's decision to leave Kensington Palace for their house at Windsor Castle earlier this year. William recently revealed that he had plenty of advice to give to new father Harry, one of which he has joked to friends is a pair of earplugs. Hopefully Harry and Meghan won't need them. They spent £50,000 soundproofing their home, which is situated in Heathrow's flight path, and Meghan revealed when posing for photos last week that her son has a calm temperament.